Ever wondered how your social media presence shapes the person you are? Let's unravel the mysteries of identity construction in liminal context. Identity construction is about figuring out who you are and showing that to others. It's how you see yourself and how others see you based on the things you do, the roles you take on, and how you present yourself. For instance, I'm talking to you right now as a management professor. In other context, I may present myself as a friend or as a family member and so on. I will construct various identities depending on the situation. Now, let's talk about the second concept, liminality and liminal context. Liminality refers to a transitional or in-between phase. It's a state of being on the threshold or at the border of something, often characterized by ambiguity and change. Metaphorically, liminality is like being in the middle of a journey, not fully in one place or another. It's a state of transition where things are not clear cut and you are in a kind of in-between phase. So to sum it up, our study delves into how people shape their identity in these situations characterized by in-betweenness. More specifically, we studied how journalists working for major French newspapers construct liminal identities on Twitter, the social network rebranded as X. Twitter is interesting because it creates a particular kind of liminality. It's not like Facebook that you use mainly for your private life or LinkedIn that you use for your professional life. It's in between. We conducted interviews with 76 journalists. We complemented these interviews with online observation and data mining of journalist tweets so that we could have a more complete picture of their online behavior. Our study shows that identity construction in liminal context can be highly enjoyable. Journalists create online personalities that is a mix of their personal and professional identities. For instance, they will talk about very serious issues, such as war in the Middle East, and a few minutes later, post funny pictures of cats. In a way, they are playing with their identities, blurring boundaries between their private personality and their role as journalists. In sum, Twitter is like a playground where journalists can exploit this in-betweenness to shape an online identity as they see fit. Importantly, such identity construction is a positive experience because journalists have a relative autonomy in choosing and deciding how they shape their online identities. What about the managerial implications? In the realm of social media, organizations must strike a balance in regulating employee communication. Avoiding overly strict rules is crucial as it stifled spontaneity. However, granting complete freedom poses risk to the organization's reputation. This need for balance extends beyond social media to various aspects of life, like virtual worlds and remote work, where multiple facets of identity coexist. Studying such context is essential to understand and enhance these experiences.